guys, this is Harry Keeper and this is my keep collection as of fall 2020. So first, let's get started with my main speed keeps. Here is my Gans Today Tube. Um, this turns really well and I got it really recently. Here is a GAN 3x3, also really well, also old. And got at the same time as 2x2, so really recent. My main 4x4 is poppy, fast, and loud. And 5x5, I don't do 5x5 actually, but I just have it. Here, this is a Chi 5x5. That also locks up so much. So next up is 3x3 one hand. Here is my main directory one hand. I just got that from Pool, so this is the wet. I Xing Shao and the brand. Very good. For a cube, this is a cheese cube that turns on these corners like a two by two. And it does turn really well also with magnets. Next is Pyraminx. This is my main Pyraminx. Pyraminx brand that I don't know, but turns really well on these tips are fun to just do that. One row done. So the next rows, two rows, are mainly cubes that you've seen except for a couple bigger cubes. Those two right there. But anyways, here is the 2x2 and 3x3 section. Here is a Rubik's 2x2, super noisy. My third ever Rubik's Cube. Here is a random Shengsha 2x2, that is my backup name. It is noisy, but it does turn slightly good. Here is my Rubik's 3x3 in transparent. Transparent fun. I mean, I got this from my parents, so I didn't have much of a choice. I'm going to sticker this later, but it's still a Rubik's brand, and it does actually turn pretty well. Next is this really big cube, my biggest 3x3. It's the Star Star 3x3. Noisy. And also what you can do is if you kind of cut it a little bit, the piece will actually pop out a little bit if I can do it. Yeah, like that. And then you have to pop it back in. Now finishing it off, we have tiny 3x3s from biggest to smallest. This is a art picture cube that has emotions as well like this one's happy it's kind of hard to tell since i flipped it it's worried i'm surprised this no, this one's surprised that one's excited i guess this one's laughing and then this one is goofy also i sw swapped this around here is the rubik's brand nano cube that's not the smallest, and here is the small Rubik's cube that I made out of paper so it doesn't turn. Next up are some bigger cubes, like 4 plus. Anyways, here's the Rubik's 4x4. Really old cube that I got in 2017, and does not turn at all that much. Next, here's the Rubik's 5x5. Same zero 4x4, got it around 2017. It doesn't turn a lot better. It's also very wiggly and loose and all this. And I just hate this cube really. It doesn't turn that well except for these inner layers. So next I actually have two cubes right now. I just got one out for right now. So yeah, anyways, here is a Chi 6x6 probably heard of this brand from the 5x5 somewhere over there. It actually turns a lot smoother, 5x5, but locks up way more. Anyways, next up is this Chi Chi Sing S7x7. Seven by, what, seven by seven. And oh yes, the center cap fell off. That's what it's been doing all day. So... Yeah, it's very sandy, and this is my newest cube in my collection. <laughs> collection. Next, our 3 by 3 shape mod. Here is a Shinshaw mirror box. Turns really well. Well, like all Shinshaw puzzles. And this is a gold one. The normal Rubik's one is silver, and you can get it in silver. But the 
this one I have it in gold. I didn't have a choice that much since it came in a bundle. Here is a Fisher Cube. Um, it's very loose since it does have magnets, so it's kind of hard to keep it down. But I like this cube in general. It's pretty cool. Here are two access cubes. They're sort of like ghost cubes. I do have ghost ghost cube, but um, it's broken. Here's the first one, the one that I never actually mixed up. And the other one that I did mix up once, it does have uh, bigger holes. Other one, since I got in a different pack. Yeah, those two, that's it for these two. And here are two windmill cubes. And yes, this is about to fall. And really not much to say about them. They're both smooth. This one's a lot springy though. And finishing off three like three shape mods. Here is a J3 ball of styrofoam that does not turn. Next on to random shaped puzzles. Here is a a Shinchao tank mix. Minx. Minx, um that turns actually okay for Mega Minx, though the other Mega Minx that I don't know what brand does not turn very well. Next up here is a Shinshell Pure Morphix that's not pulled. The 2x2 shape mod turned it like a 2x2 turn Pure Minx. And here is the Shinshell Pure one. Um, this one is stickerless. And there is a sticker difference. I feel like the red is brighter on this one. These stickers are a bit lighter. Next on to other WCA puzzles. Here is a skew with magnets. And it does have twisted corner, but it's not the one that you can take out. And next up after that is this half magnetic skew. Turns okay, but this layer... Now these are my cuboids. Here is a Rubik's 2x2x4 tower that I got a long time ago also. Here are my two Rubik's puzzle boxes that I made myself out of Legos. The 1.0 which is the 1x1x2 and the 2.0 which is the 1x1x3. Here is the Z cube super floppy cube which apparently it's broken since it explodes like every single time. I don't know what I did to it. I think I messed up the core a bit too much. Here is a one by one by three out of Legos. I had to add a lot of tape on here and also I messed up on this one center piece right there. Here's the Lego one by one by two. It's like this, so it's a lot of tape and also it's one by one by three on the inside because core one by one by three, there's three pieces there. And just put this back on. This is my other one by one by two. It's like this. It's also made out of like a different design, but I tried to hide that using this. And the stickers are about to peel off now. You can see that. It's kind of unfortunate. Next are two one by two by twos. Um, they're both broken, but I still have them. Here is a mini one by two by two. And here is the big 1x2x2. Finally finishing off cuboids. Here is a 1x2x3. Three, just pillowed. And I don't like this puzzle that much either. Next up are 1x1s. Anyways, here is a full size Rubik's 1x1. I made out of cardboard. Here is the mini Rubik's 1x1 out of Legos. Here is another big here is a BQ1 out of Legos, it's a miniature version. Here is one by one that I give to pe people who are colorblind. And here is the dice one that I haven't stickered yet. And here is this one by one puzzle box that I made out of Legos that's super simple to solve. Next up are random puzzles. Here is a Rubik's pen that you have to solve. I have it actually stickered it. Then when only it is solved, you can take the cap off. I don't think the 
myself since I can't take it off. Oh, there we go. So then you can just do this and then scramble it up again. Next up is a rainbow ball, and you might be confused how this turns. It actually turns through these holes like this. And it's really easy, actually. Not Most people think it's hard since there's 12 colors on here. Well, I love it. That can move around. And yes, this is missing the dark blue ring. Here is more like a fidget toy. Like I have right over there. But here is a Minecraft uh, jump cube. You could easily tell why. It jumps up. This is really um, only the twisty puzzle on here. This is the Chi Ivy Cube with stickers. And it turns very decent, better than all my other Chi Cubes. Next here is the 15 puzzle that I got at a souvenir shop in Missouri when it was Christmas. And this is just very, very cheap. Yeah, just super cheap. Now the next three are more like fidgets, like the Minecraft Jump Cube. Here is a Infinity Cube that can keep unfolding and unfolding an infinite number of times. It's really fun. Here, this is actually called the Fidget Cube, though this is a dodecahedral Fidget Cube. And I like messing with this since it has twice as many controls as Fidget Cube, and I actually got this labeled as the Emotion Cube, which is pretty cool. It's but I guess that explains why there's these faces and things like that. Finally, here is the Lego snake. Um, I actually have two of these. Here is the cube snake. This, and yes, it breaks a lot at that middle section. And here is the flat snake that you just mold around into random shapes. I like this bit better because you can like create a lot of different shapes with this. Next up are a bunch of other puzzles that I have. Here is a puzzle cube that I've solved many, many times, though you can't actually get anything out. You just have to solve the whole thing, and this thing probably got stuck in here somewhere. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but that was really loud. Here is the house puzzle box that I have gum in here. It still smells like gum, though it is missing a couple pieces here, so it doesn't work. And yeah, I try, yeah. I'm gonna chew some gum later. Here is two random puzzle boxes. This one that's I failed on because it's really loose. This piece keeps coming out. This one is a successful one. People think this is a super hard one. It's actually really easy. There's only a couple steps. Here are all my metal puzzles that my makes your hands really smelly. Here is a paper. The paper clips, I don't know why they call it, but it's super easy. I just solved it. And here is the wheelchair. I think that's what they call it. Um, I can solve it. It's just this one takes a bit longer. The hardest one is, I think it's called the double knot. It's like this. Um, I can solve this, though it is harder than all the other ones. It about takes me around 10 minutes to solve this. Other than that, this is just super easy to solve. Here is this random puzzle that I don't know how I made this. I just, th this used to be like five different ones that I just put together. So apparently I have to take everything apart. Right, and apparently it does be hard. I don't know why I did this at all. My last cube, well, puzzle this where you have to solve it without touch this i can do it but i'm filming and i can't really reach the desk that much yeah next on to like accessories and broken key in here are my broken key those key those key and the other key that i can't play in the middle building here is my Rubik's Cube stand with the Rubik's Cube logo. It was my first ever stand. And this was a stand that I got for my Ghost Cube. Here is the Scans Accessory Spring Pack for its, it's 256 that I have. And this is a transparent Rubik's stand that I got for my 3x3. Here is a 5x5, 6x5 
five by five cube manual. Got two six by six and seven by seven cube manuals. Here's a bunch of sticker supply. I have lots of blue. Blue. Big piece of orange. And not much of these three colors. And I don't have much white either. Here is the scan cute bag. I have another one. Though it's at a friend's house. Here is this bag that's broken. Cause I don't know where the other pieces went. Here is this box for a scan cube. This is a random manual. Here is where I got a Chi Chi Sing 7x7. And I have a big box right over there. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. More than 50 puzzles. I counted there's 65. Five, and I actually store them in this. There's a bunch of random supplies in there. Yeah, going to be doing a video of that soon. But anyways, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye.